Hey guys! Okay, um, so I don't even actually know like what this video is is going to be about. Like, I originally was gonna be favorites, but it's just like not that. Okay, it is like so much more. It's just like honestly, it's like skinny legend like course 101. I'm not kidding. Like, I don't even know. Like, there are so many things that like we actually like need to talk about and I need to show you. It's like I wish I could just like do videos every day. Just like oh my god, you guys like like I need to tell you this right now. Um, anyway. I also have to do like, one disclaimer because I, if you guys haven't been following me for a while, then you, maybe you don't know this, but I do not like to cover up zits. Like, I'm not the kind of person to cake makeup on. I cannot stand it. It is so disgusting, grotesque. Like, I just don't like it. It looks so cakey. Thankfully, I don't usually get breakouts, but I have two horrible, like, like zits right here, okay? And, like, I'm sorry if you see them. I'm sorry if you're disgusting. Like, honestly, like, I don't care enough to, like cover them I think it looks worse and like I just don't give a shit like I'm sorry like it's just I'm just, just going to be there like it is what it is like I don't know what to tell you so I'm just gonna like call it out right now because I know they're like really prevalent okay so I don't even know where I'm going to begin but I have like so many things to tell you guys like oh my god okay and this, this is gonna be like a real ass video because I actually do want to help you like anyone who wants to like be helped because I feel like my tips actually like do work and I don't care like Okay, like so many people are gonna be like, oh my god, this is like so unhealthy. Or you're like t teaching like young, young and like girls or whatever, like the wrong like way of life. Like, bitch, don't listen to me then. Like, seriously, don't listen to me. Like, I'm not a doctor. I don't give a fuck. Like, this is just what I do. And this is like an online diary. So, is is like is what it is. And I'm not responsible for anything. Like, no, I'm not. Like, this is just my online diary. Like, don't watch. Like, make up your own damn mind. Okay. So I just wanted to like, let you guys in on like my life. All right, so here we go. And by the way, like this is like 70s skinny legend. Like I cannot tell you like, okay, this 70s thing has like really like started to like take over my life. I feel like everything has to be 70s now. Like not in like a costumey way, like in like the most picky way in the whole world. Like you would not even, it's getting like out of control like how picky I'm becoming. Um, <laughs> okay, but I'm just going to start. Okay, I'm just going to like start. I'm going to grab something. I do have like favorites, but it's all having to like, it's all having to do with like my skinny legend life right now, okay? And like it is what it is. All right, first thing I'm gonna talk about is black coffee. You guys know since my last video, whatever, about the coffee maker, like how black coffee is like, it's an end, it's like it is everything to me. And I'm not gonna lie, like when I first started YouTube, you guys saw I was like way skinnier, right? Sorry, I'm blinking, like you guys know, whatever. I'm not gonna like try to hide the fact that I look, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is, like I blink when I like get like nervous or excited, like I don't even know, like I feel like my eyes are dry. <laughs> I cannot do this. Okay, so anyway, like the key, and like this is not a secret, okay? This is not fucking secret. This is not like, oh my God, she's anorexic, like so stupid, yeah, I'm like so anorexic. Um, is black coffee. Like I, when I was like thinner, or like thin, thinnish, I drank black coffee throughout the day. Like that's what I did. So I've always done, I like totally got off the bandwagon. Like lately, like I've been eating lunch during the day and that is like a no more. It is not happening. It's not happening. We'll get into that too. But black coffee, I love this. I love this black coffee. You guys know I have like the best coffee maker now, but you need to go out and get yourself this black coffee right immediately now. Like you need to do it. Also, you need to like, I think we're kind of like dumb with an espresso. It's like, they are okay, like I didn't actually, like I actually did have one the other morning, like kind of craved it, but like I'm kind of done with it, like I just am so tired of their same old like nasty pods, like they never come out with any good flavors, like I'm just tired of it, I'm just kind of over it, like I'm just, I don't know, it's like definitely not 70s, okay, so it's just kind of like ruining my life right now, okay, <laughs> so the, I'm not kidding actually, uh, World Market, this one is called Tahitian Vanilla Bean, oh my gosh, it is like a meal, because there's a flavor to it, you know what I mean? Like, it's just very, it just, just doesn't taste just like black coffee because there's a flavor going on. It is, there's more to it, and it's a really nice, like, smooth vanilla flavor. I really, really like it. So go and get this. This is like a must, a must, must, must. And I'm just gonna talk about, from then I'm gonna talk about my no meals thing. So remember how, like, before I was like, oh my god, you guys, like, no fucking meals. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not eating, like, any meals. Like, actually, that's not true. I'm eating one meal a day. That's what I used to do before. That's what I'm doing now. Like, one meal a day. I do not eat any, like, I don't really eat breakfast. Like, I eat, like, a little bit. Okay, and I'm not, like, totally, like, not eating direct throughout the day. But I'll have, like, a couple, like, 50-calorie biscottis. Like, I'll have, like, a little biscotti, like, those little ones from... Trader Joe's with like my black coffee though it becomes more of like a moment you know what I mean like everything is like everything is like thought out because it's just like if it's just like black coffee and an ugly mug and like just tastes like fucking dirt like it's not gonna be a moment and it's not going to like fulfill me like be like oh good you know 
Um, and that's when I'm probably gonna like start getting hungry, right? So I do that and um, have like a black coffee I really like. But I do not eat like meals anymore through the day. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should have like little meals throughout the day, bitch. No, that is how I got fat. It's fine if you want to do it. Like, like I said, please, like, go away. Just go away, okay? You are not a skinny legend, okay? This is skinny legend. <laughs> like, this fucking works. Um, I just don't, if I eat, like, even a dry salad during the day, I don't know what it does. Like, my body just takes those calories, whatever it is, and just, like, and it makes me hungrier. It's like, I, then I, like, am hungry, you know what I mean? But lately, just because I'm in the mindset, like, ever since I had my implants taken out and I, like, had that lift, I have no implants, and now I just feel so much better. Like, I feel like my, I feel like a skinnier version of myself again. I just feel better. Like, I feel way better. Plus, I did that thermage, and I, my, my jawline is so much better. You guys know I go to Cologie for thermage, and like, no, I'm not being paid for this. You need to fucking go. Like, it is everything. Talk to Matt. Tell him you're coming in because of me. You fucking need to do it, okay? So, I just feel better about myself, and I'm like, I'm like, bitch, like, we're not eating meals anymore during the day. Like, it doesn't work for you. Like... So I don't eat meals during the day, and then at night I come home and I have like a, a normal meal. Like I do actually have whatever the fuck I want, but I just have like one meal a day. You know what I mean? Like, and that's all I'm allowed to have, and it, it just does work for me. I mean, I will slip up here and there, but like actually not really. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is my eyeshadow. Oh my god, can we talk about my eyeshadow? So if you guys missed my live a couple, I think like a couple weeks ago, I got this eyeshadow from Morphe. You guys know like how obsessed I am with Morphe palettes. I just, I just don't know like why I just love Morphe so much. Like. I just, is this the wrong palette? No, I have like 400 other books. I, oh my god, like I wore eyeshadow now. Can you believe it? Um, but there's like a technique to this, and we're going to talk about that too. This is the eyeshadow palette you need, primarily just because um, of this color, which I really like. It's just a purple, a frosty purple. And I'm not going to go into like my in depth love for this palette because if you missed my live, then that's on you. But a lot of you guys who caught my live and you remember, like, see how disgusting that is. Okay, and I'm sorry, like, it's what it is. Okay, like, I'm sorry, like, God, like, placed them on my face. Like, I don't know why, like, he did it to me. But okay, so, um, it's called Purple Rain. And I'm just going to tell you how we apply this. Like, it's not supposed to be a big fucking deal. You guys, like, get over it. It's not a big deal. Like, we have so many better things to do in our lives than fucking put on, like, eyeshadow colors, like, 400 eyeshadow colors. Like, literally just do this and just, like, smear it on. Like, just stop it. Like, just stop it after that. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not even supposed to be perfect. Like, it's just supposed to be kind of cute. You know, like, like it's not even supposed to be, like, a big deal. So, that's what I've been doing. I really, really like it. And, um, like I said, the, it's called Jewel Crew. Jewel Crew in 9C. And I will try and put the link for this because, and I'll try to put a link for everything I'm talking about. But this is, like, amazing. I really like it. It's very 70s. It's very, um, like, 70s, like, pop star, like, girl. You know what I mean? Like, an afro. I don't know. I just feel like, I just feel like it's very, like, 70s or, like, even, like, I don't know. It's what I feel like it is. What's it called? Flash dance? What's called? I don't even know. That's like not the, actually the vibe I'm into. Like flash dance. I don't even know what it's called. But I just like this. Like it is kind of 70s to me. I don't know. Is it not? Okay. Whatever it is to me. Um, I guess like anything I like now is like 70s. Okay. Then I'm going to talk about some of my new pieces. Obviously like this is, I want to do a favorites video about like my pieces in general just because I really wanted to talk about them because my line, I'm not like completely going in a different direction, but like I said, I'm trying to, no, I'm trying, I want, my line is me, like, it's always been what I like at that moment, like, I would design things, and then, if I didn't absolutely love it, it would never make it, like, I've done a lot of designs that I just never made it on the site, because it wasn't something that I was like, oh my god, I need to wear this right now, like, I could just put up, like, a bunch of designs, and like, okay, here, like, but I would never, ever, ever do that, but now, I, like I told you, I really just am into more of, like, quality materials, like, like sterling silvers gold fill 14k and things like that so that's what i'm doing and i'm trying i am i'm trying i am keeping the price down especially for what you're getting as as much as i can like you can try and find comparable things online from other designers and you know because we're talking about like real real like um materials now like real like precious materials I really am doing, like, my design, let me show you guys, like, how cool they are. And, um, like, these, my crystal gem bands, these are all sterling silver. And you guys know that. You guys have been loving these. They're really, really cool. Uh, so things I do now are, are going to be all, like, precious metals so that you can, like, wear them all the time and not worry about having to take them off to shower and things like that because it's, I know they can get really annoying. So now I'm doing earrings. You guys know I'm just really, really into, I got my third ear, ear my earring hole here pierced and, um, so, what actually what happened was I did those, remember that cherry necklace, the 14K cherry necklace and the 14K um, heart necklace, which this, the cherry is sold out. Um, I did those in 14K because you guys have been asking for 14K. Like, every time I would do an, um, a design, 
you would say, oh my God, I love it, but when are you going to do 14K? So I was like, okay, well, I can, I want to do that, but I just don't know if like that's a jump you guys want me to make. So I really wanted to try and I'm happy you guys are, are being receptive to it because it's just, you know what I mean? Like I, I want to know what, where we should go with, where I should go with this. And like, I don't have a huge team behind me. It's legitimately like just me and like Judy and like a couple, like, some help here and there. Like everything is just me. You know what I mean? So it's really, really like, I don't have like investors. I don't have like PR. I don't have like help. I just, everything is me from like dealing with suppliers and like me hand making everything it's whatever you know what I mean like it's not a big thing so I hope you guys know that too um but anyway I want to show you guys my earrings now and um I'm doing some I have some uh, like um, some hoops so basically what I'm doing now are hoops little hoops with gems on with uh sorry with charms on them they're called my lucky charms and I have like six I think it's like eight different um charms you can choose to put on a small medium or large hoop everything was 14k you can get like I'm selling them individually too so you can just get one because I have everything different mix and match which is so cool anyway I know you guys love the cherries so these are little 14k cherries um on this is on the mini size hoop sorry um small hoop but I put on my third and this is enamel so there's like enamel um color cherries here and um as you can see like little red cherries with the green leaf and then the next one this is actually 14k with sapphires and um, you can buy them single as a set or as a set, whatever you want. And they're multicolor sapphires also with these. And they also come in, um, the same one comes in with black diamonds, which is really, really, really sick. I'm not wearing it today. And then I'm also doing custom options too. So if you want like all pink gem, all pink sapphires, or if you want pink and blue sapphires or pink ombre sapphires, I can totally do that for you. And the cost, I won't even, it's not going to be that much more. It's not going to be like ridiculous for like custom piece or whatever. I would love to do that for you. Um... But I'm really love, loving like the rainbow color gems right now. I'm just really into that. And then I put this key on it. And this, by the way, all of these, all of these charms are not like little shit charms, okay? They're like detailed on both sides. They're really nice, heavy. Um, they're not like flat crap, you know what I mean? Like I promise you, you're going to love them. They're even so cute, you can even put them on a, um, on a chain. Like that's how cute they are. They're not like a little tiny like throwaway nothing. Like they are really nice charms. This one I call my Rolls Royce key. It's like a retro looking car key and it's detailed on both sides. Really cute. And then this one, I'm going to take it out so you guys can see. Uh, a lot of you guys seem to be loving this. This is my new um, safety pin and it's 14k and there's a natural pearl on it too. So this is what it looks like. And I have one with CZs on it, but this one is not and it comes in rose gold or sorry, white gold and um, so you like you guys saw I had the pearl on it before. And then you just really simply, I know a lot of you guys asked me about how to put it in. It's really easy. You just put it in like that, and then you put the pearl there, and then you close it. And that's it. It's really cute with the pearl I just left out just for the time. Okay, then the next year I have different ones in. Then in the let me show you guys this one. This one seems to be the most popular. This is, I call it the LV flower. And it's like a little mirrored flower. It's the cutest little thing ever, right? Like, isn't that adorable? And this is on also the medium size hoop. And then I have one more medium size hoop with another Rolls Royce key and a little money bag. And the money bag is adorable. It says $1,000 on it on both sides. It's actually like a 3D money bag. It's not like flat, you know what I mean? It's really nice and you can hear the dangle. Like, it's just cute and mirrored and fun and really good quality, you know what I mean? So it's like legit pieces. And that's that. Um, and then this is my, you guys know this is my pin, um, natural pin, natural pearl pin necklace, which I love, and I'm wearing it as like a choker today, and I'm, I can put that in or whatever, but I want it out. So those are those, and I just want to let you guys know too, for all of my 14K designs right now, even like the sapphire stuff, black diamond stuff, my, um, uh, what's it called, my pins, and then these pins too, just so you know, they all come with a natural pearl on them that you can take on or off you can like depending on your mood like whatever you want to do i'm going to put it back on because i like it more with it on um but it's like hard i need like a mirror close the back and the pearls just sit there it's so 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 cute so those are those. I'm just really excited about this. And, um, you know, like think like a simple little gold earring um, starts at like $25 just for the gold, 14K gold earring. And then you can add charms. And the charms, I think like the most inexpensive one is around like, I 
think it's like, don't quote me, shoot, I think it's like $30 or something. So it's not that bad. Go check it out. Plus, um, it's it's actually not bad at all for 14k. Like I told you, I really, like I really want to give you guys really nice things for like de for decent prices. I'm not trying to like, you know what I mean, like become like Tiffany, you know what I mean? Um, and also, so you guys know, I'm offering 10% off on all of my 14K just to start. So anything 14K, use the code 14K and you can get 10% off. And um, it's just like really fun. And definitely do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to like choose different ones. Like I, I saw an order come in like before and I love the way people are choosing like like random, like like two different earrings with like one charm on here and two charms on here and then someone else chose like one with three charms on like so cute. And you can also take the charms off easily, put them on other things, switch, switch them around, put them on a chain, like they are like totally versatile. That's what I love about this. They're just like the cutest little lucky charms ever. And I'm just, I'm just, I love them. Like I've been playing with them like all week. So that's that. Um, and then... While we're on jewelry, I want to talk about my ring too. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this or leaving comments, and I'm not like sure like how to like I, I don't like I I don't really like talking about this kind of stuff because like I don't even know like it's not actually fun. But this is the same the same stone I've always had. Just so you guys know, it's the same one. I mean, like obviously it's the same one, and it's a big stone. Yes, I think it's like um almost I think it's like almost it's like almost five carats. Like it's a really really nice stone. But I didn't have a wedding, okay? Like. I didn't have a wedding like that. There are like reasons why I was able to have like a nice fucking stone. Like it's not like, oh my God, like made of money. Like, oh my God, no. Like, so um, there's trade-offs in like things in life. And I have no friends anyway and I don't like weddings. So you guys are like, what the fuck am I going to invite to my wedding? Like Ron, who I'm like never speaking to again. Like so annoying. Like Ron irritated the fuck out of me. He's like so annoying. Like I'm never spot talking to him again. Like I'm in a huge fight with him. Um, anyway, so I want to tell you guys about this is that I, you guys know everything for me like lately has to be seventies and I really love this. I just wanted a big thick gold band. Um, and I wanted the, to, the ring to be really high so you could see like how deep the stone is because it's actually a really like beautiful deep stone too. And I just love it. It's like, this is so fucking Elvira Hancock with a goddamn fucking martini you know what I mean like that's what it is and I just like love it it's so bam like it kind of ages me I feel like people will be like hmm like why would she have that, that ring like was she married in like the 70s you know what I mean so it kind of ages me I don't, I don't care like I just love it that much like I just love it it's just a gold band like I you guys know like no hate on anyone I know like like halos and like pave settings like for rings are very very in like I had one too at one point like I just don't like them at all like they are so like basic this is such a, a good way to like upgrade your ring that's actually very inexpensive too like it's just all it is is gold you know what I mean you're not doing like all this like artwork and stuff so it just like actually paying for the gold in case you guys are wondering I know a lot of you guys are asking so okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is um what am I talk about there's so much to talk about okay can we should we get off skinny legend I'm gonna talk about this bag right now okay okay this bag I okay I have been loving this bag lately so much and I actually have a list too of things I'm talking about because I don't want to like forget but um this bag is not I didn't buy it I've had this bag in my like collection forever I bought it at South Coast Plaza like when I first started like HRH like one day like on a whim like I was like oh my god like I'm just gonna like, go treat myself and I bought this and I never used it I hated it the day I bought it like I don't like black Murakami at all and um I only like the white Murakami and it actually makes me like look very fat but now that I've had like my lift and like I don't know like my lift and just makes me look smaller everywhere this bag looks good on me now and even in the past when I was smaller it never looked good on me and I just really like it plus it has this bow on it like it's like such a throwback moment and I just I love it it's so cool like I it is like very like one of a kind like bitch show me show me someone else has this bag because I don't know anyone like actually um and i love it like i'm not sure like, if i want to wear it. i have like two very two larger murakami style um lv bags which i love they're like they have so much like meaning to me um but i don't think like wearing like the large speedy is like cool right now you know what i mean i think it's a little much like it's a little tacky but i think these small ones are kind of like very 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 cute like you see people wearing them they're very like they're very like kylie jenner you know what i mean like oh my god like just give like don't give a fuck about that i don't actually like not I, like, this is like this is okay everyone has like a different way of being a skinny legend like everyone has a different way of being a skinny legend this is just my my skinny legend like advice okay so i have this thing where i don't actually count if i have like a bite of like a chocolate i'm not talking about picking all day long and like eating this and that all day long i'm talking about like 
if you have like a couple bites of a fucking chocolate, like it's nothing. Like basically you haven't eaten today, okay? Like I don't give a shit. It is nothing, okay? So I have this place, is idol it's called like Idolwise or whatever. It's a fucking stupid chocolate place like near my pla my house, which like I actually had no idea because you guys know like C's candy, you can go and like pick like like you can go on like in like the store like choose the ones you want i love that i've always loved doing that um but i just thought that was like only c's candy like i didn't know and then i went into this idolized place like near my house and i was like oh my god it's like fucking c's so um i just like to like have a bite i don't like to eat like a whole chocolate and i just like to try them and then like this box will last me for like probably three or four days actually this one's bigger it'll probably last me i got like six pieces of chocolate and i just like to like try them okay like so good. This is a graham cracker. And by the way, we did this on my live the other week. I like tried these with you. But like it's all I'm going to eat all day long. I'm just going to do like a little sampling and I like have black coffee and then I'll be like done until dinner. Like I'm not having anything else. And this is like very seldom. But like if I feel like doing that, like I'm going to do it. I'm not going to like completely deprive myself. But it's not a meal, okay? Like having a one little bite of chocolate and sampling the taste is not a big fucking deal. Like I'm not going to like die over it. This is a honeycomb. Oh my god, can I tell you guys one of my favorite things in the whole world are these almond bark things. I love like almonds with... Mmm, it's so good. Mm. I love nuts with chocolate. And then this one's a coconut one. And then I got this one. It's called a haystack. What is that? Is that just coconut? I'm gonna. Mm. I don't like this one. Kind of tastes like it's been in the refrigerator. And then the last one is this one, which I really love. And it's like called praline, I think. Mm, do you like Nutella? It's so good. But my favorite, I'm not going to lie, this one I'll have one more almond right now. And I will finish the rest of this like later on through the day. I'll have like, I'll go back like three more times to finish the, each each almond. Mm, mm, so good. So, like, it was probably 100 calories right there but the thing with me is it was actually very fulfilling like it was a moment like that's what it is and I'm like I'm not joking I'm not being like crazy like going to that like me driving to that place and walking Ming and like choosing the chocolates and doing this is fulfillment enough because like you know what I mean I don't need the meal I don't want the meal um but I do want to eat something and I don't want it, like, the dry salad is, like, too much. Like, it's too much. It, like, spans my stomach too much. So, like, I'm too hungry. I get hungry. You know what I mean? This doesn't. This is just, like, a moment. And it's, like, not a big fucking deal. You know what I mean? Okay. Next, I mean, I'm actually, like, being serious. Okay, can we talk about, I talked about my 70s ring. You guys, I'm, like, there. I just wanted to, like, kind of tell you guys, like, how, like, into 70s, the 70s I ran up. I have, like, the best music, too. I'm, like, you guys know I'm, like, really, really, really big on music. Like, I just don't understand. I've honest, honestly, you guys, I feel like I have the best taste in music. Like, I think it's very hard to beat me in taste in music. Like, I will, like, I admit that I, I'm not, like, the best at everything, but I really have a, like, I, like, I do never pat myself on the back ever, but, like, I have a really good, sen like, sense of music. Like, I just am very, I don't know what it is, and I really hate bad music, and I hate people with, like, bad music tastes. Like, I don't understand how people can just listen to the radio if a shit song comes on because pretty much every song that comes on is a shit song to me like anyway okay i was going to show you a couple songs that i really like and there's three songs i'm going to show you guys um i have a lot of songs. i haven't not caught up with you guys in a long time on on music and i we love this mu this music stuff but i'll give you like four okay i'm going to start with um this one by andy gibb and it's very 70s Okay, that's 
song. Like, I'm, oh my god, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. And then this song, I just like I heard it and I was like, oh my god, because you guys know I love like I really like like rap, but I don't like stupid shitty rap. But I there are stupid shitty rap songs that I like too. I can't explain it. Like there has to be. I can't. I can't explain. It. I don't even know what the words are. Okay. This one's by. Flip De Niro, I don't know who the hell this is, called Leave Me Alone, and I just feel like it's very me, like, just please leave me the fuck alone, like, just leave me alone, like, just the way he says, like, leave me alone, it's like, that's what I, like, feel on the daily, just, like, like, I just cannot be bothered, just leave me the fuck alone, I just love this song, it's like, just leave me alone. Okay, it's just like, there's something, there's like, the, the beat is right, tone is right it's just there's I, there has to be a lot of things that make it click for me and like it's just good okay love that song and then um i'll show you this one too this is so 70s like oh my god like i just like love it So I can't play the whole thing because I'm not sure like if anything if my video will be turned off or whatever but if I could I would like literally sit here with you guys and just like listen to music like oh my god I love that like I blast music and you guys know I like blast music in my house like on my my like speaker thing and like I, I don't even know I'm like just like I live in like a very quiet like community but I just like don't give a fuck um I'm just gonna okay I'll just give you this one too ah! I love that song so much like there's just like songs that just like do it for me you know what I mean like I get so happy from them so that's that one too that one did I tell you guys who they are oh my god I'll tell you who they were so I told you the, okay, the last one the one before that one was I want your love by chic and this one was easier said than done by the Essex okay so those are like my songs right now. There are more too, but like maybe we'll save it for next time. I cannot do like a whole video on songs. Like how long has this video been? Okay, let's talk about, I have like three more really cool things to talk about you, to you guys about. The next one is like this, my skinny legend clothes. Like you guys need these clothes right now. Like, I'm just gonna talk about two styles and they're both from Aritzia. You guys know that. I went on like that Aritzia like mini shopping spray. Like, oh my God, I got like the best shit ever. Like everything that I ever wear now is from Aritzia. These tops, you guys, Okay, and I'm, I'm not sure if this is true, but someone was like, um, that shirt is like sold out now across the world. And like, I fucking hope it was because of me. But I'll put the links up to these below. You guys, you need them in every color. Actually, can you not buy them in yet? Because I'm going to go buy it back and buy doubles. So let me order them first. But I got mediums in all of these, so you guys know. And it's just, you guys are like, it's just a tube top. But it is not just a tube top. It's the material. You guys know it all matters on the cut. This is the best top ever i obviously wear no bra with it and i got it in blue black and then i got this one in white and i wanted it in black too they didn't have it the large was too big and like i didn't want the medium i didn't like I'm like bitch you're not small okay don't get a small um oh my god um so then um i got these are these are my also you guys know i've been wearing like plaid pants i just love plaid pants now like and like both of these mix and match with everything these are also from aritzia they're really 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 nice i love them they're so flattering they like make your front look really flat um i just really really like them they're really they're really really good quality and the, the it's the cut you guys know like the the cut is everything and the cut on these are really really nice so I've worn these like a million times already seriously I got both of these and these mix and match so this is like my favorite as fuck skinny skinny legend vibe outfit ever okay right now love 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 okay those and then can I just look at my list because I feel like there's like my I feel like on my I have a list of things this morning I was like doing my makeup I was like but you're gonna forget something and then when you're uploading your video you're gonna like be like oh my god Oh my god! I forgot one of the best things! Okay. You guys, hair. I'm like really kind of done with this hair. Like I'm just kind of done with it. Like I kind of want to take it off. I feel like it's like very OC. Not that I care. Like I actually was like born in Orange County. But like I just feel like there's like... I'm not seeing everyone there. Can we just like not get offended please? Like god damn it's so fucking annoying. I can't stand it. But like Orange County has like a very like like precious like not precious like like very basic like white girl vibe not that that's bad okay please can we just stop like ugh. like i love you guys you know what i mean but like that's where i'm from but i just don't want like i don't want like that kind of hair and i feel like that's what i have right now um 
Okay, so I want to show you guys this because I'm just going to be so creepy to you. You guys know I watch like ID, right? Like all those like like forensic files and like datelines and everything. So I was watching this like dateline the other day and like they showed this lady. I, actually, what happened was my fucking DVR didn't like save it to the end. So I didn't get to know if like the, the husband was convicted of murder or not. So I like went back to, uh, to Google it and I like typed in the name about her and then she came up like her... The, the, the couple's wedding, like, of the dead, like, lady, the dead wife came up, the wedding, like, photo came, came up. And this is, like, kind of creepy, right? Because I'm, like, looking like a dead, but I was, like, oh, my God, like, I love her hair. Like, is that really creepy? Like, okay, she, I just love her hair. It is so fucking cool. Like, I love her hair. And this guy, obviously, I'm, he was, like, not convicted, so you're not allowed to say that. But, like, I'm not allowed to say that he's an asshole because I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so that is her hair, and I really love it. And then I started thinking, oh, my God, like, can we just do, like, a mellow 70s vibe hair? Like, are we doing that? So then I started looking around. Can I show you guys two more? I'm, like, dying about these hairdos. Look at this hair. Oh. But this is like a perm, right? Are these perms? Is that why I like them? Can we do like a, can I do like a mellow perm? It's just such thing as like a quarter perm where it's not like 100% curled. Like, I think I just love this. Like, I love this. I told you guys I'm trying to go like a little bit darker too, right? So, um, I'm, I don't know. We'll see where I go with this. Like, I want to get the extensions out soon. I think I'm just like, they're very, I like them. They're really pretty, but they're a lot of work. You know what I mean? Like, they are a lot of work and my short hair was like so much more effortless like I didn't even have to like blow dry it or anything I just kind of like did its own thing and like was pretty okay um and yeah so that's that I, I, I want to make sure I want to make sure that I for, didn't forget anything else yeah I talked about all that um okay then I'm gonna talk about this this is the bag I've been using lately I just want to like show you guys there's besides my Murakami I've been wearing this classic like Chanel bag that I haven't used in the longest time but the honest, honest to God reason, the only reason, and I'm not kidding you, the reason I'm wearing these is because of my top handles, which don't even need to be spoken about. Like you guys, a lot of you guys have them and you love them. My Privé handles are the best things in the world. And if you guys are like thinking about getting them, don't even think about them. Don't even think about them and get them. Like this is my ice handle, which I love. And it's from, made from acrylic chain. And it is the easiest thing. Like when you get out of the car and the only option you have is this long strap, it is like legitimately the most annoying thing. And like that's the only way you can carry it too. But now with my Privé straps, you can carry it like this too. This is my ice chain one. If you don't want the ice chain, you can get the Privé one, which is all chain um, in two different options. And you guys, you can always email me. It's like, oh my God, which one should I get? Just send me pictures of your bags though. It's easier when you send me a picture of your bag so I know which one you're talking about. Um, but I love this I'm, and I wore it. I've just been wearing it every day. It's so easy to use. It's so cute. And then if you don't want to use that chain, you can just put it down and it's even cuter, like everything, right? Okay. And then I'm trying to think of everything. Okay. The last thing I want to talk about is you is this this thing okay but it doesn't necessarily have to be this one actually I have been using sorry I'm like having all these like thoughts in my head I have been using um, lipstick this like these like pots you know what I mean like this pot like cheek and lip pots I've been using them for eyeshadows too so this one in particular by make I love it it's called blot pot in rouge I got this at um, and I was in London last time and I love, love, love it. It's like the best color ever. It makes me look like, okay, I'm like really talking too much because I'm starting to get ingestion. You guys know, like I'm so weird when I talk a lot. I like suck in all this air. It's just so like crazy. I don't even know why. Anyway, um, so I love this. It's the best color ever. And I don't know why it looks so good on me, but it does. It gives me like glistening eyes and like glistening cheeks and like the best red lips ever um just like subtle red lips and i really like it it's very like almost like a little bit like avant-garde but like in like the most relaxed way it's like it just looks very cool and in all, all honesty you guys today was not i'm gonna wear mascara like i don't really wear mascara with eyeshadows you can know that but i just wore it for you because i don't want the comments like what the fuck did your eyelashes go or something so um you know what i mean <laughs> like i don't want to look like crazy like what the hell did she forget how to put her makeup on so that's it. I don't I hope I didn't forget anything. Was this video too much? Like, are they always too much? I don't know. I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna go make some black coffee right now because I haven't actually had too much today. I had like one cup this morning only. And I hope you guys go check out my new pieces. Also, I'm gonna tell you if you don't want the earrings and if you'd rather have them on a chain, um, I can totally do that for you. 
they are definitely chain worthy means meaning they will sit like really really cute because they're not like so thin that like it's like they're throwaway pieces like I said so if you'd rather have you love the charms but you don't want them on earrings just let me know and um I can tell you about the chains I have 16 18 and 28 chains in like one style which is my favorite style it's a really thin not really thin very delicate box chain um not really thin, I shouldn't have said that, but thin and nice, and it's really shiny. And um, for the chains, it's 16, 18, or 22 inch, and they're all $50. It doesn't matter what length you want. So if you'd rather do that, you can do that. Just send me an email, and I'll help you. And that's it. So I hope you guys like this skinny legend video. Oh my god, like, I actually didn't really, I actually don't really like this video. Do I? I'm not sure. Like, I just kind of like... I really don't, I don't know, like, I feel like I might, I have, like, such high expectations for these videos, and I feel like I'm always, like, at the end, I'm like, oh, is that it? Okay, can I go now? Oh, my God, I need to go. I'm gonna, like, start rambling and rambling. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, like, seriously. Okay, bye, love you.